Let's now try using a GOT. Turn on the power to start the GOT 2000. GOT screens can be created and saved with the screen design software. Using this screen as an example, let's go over some screen basics. This screen includes the following elements, a run switch, a stop switch, a running lamp, and a data one field. The program used in this training populates the data one field with a value of 6,666 when the run switch is turned on, and a value of 3,333 when turned off. Touch the run switch. The running lamp turns on, and 6,666 appears in the Data1 field. Next, touch the stop switch. The running lamp turns off, and 3,333 appears in the Data1 field. How exactly do the switches and lamps on the GOT screen operate? Let's now take a look at how the GOT functions. If you open the control panel, you will find a Programmable Logic Controller, or PLC, connected to the GOT. The switches and lamp introduced previously are controlled by PLC programs. Let's take a look at a PLC ladder program. Pressing the run switch triggers an input of M0, which causes the running lamp Y10 to turn on. Y10 is a self-retaining circuit, so the lamp stays on. The input of Y10 triggers a move transfer command to display a value of 6666 in D10 for data 1. Pressing the stop switch triggers an input of M1, which turns off Y10 via a normally closed contact. A value of 3,333 appears in D10 via the Y10 normally closed contact. Do you now have a better understanding of the relationship between GOTs and PLC programs? GOT switches and lamps must be described in PLC programs to have functionality. Describing these elements in programs is referred to as assignment. The text string M0 has been assigned to the GOT run switch. These assigned text strings such as M0 and D10 are referred to as device numbers. Device numbers are assigned to other switches and lamps in the same way. Please remember these terms as they will continue to be used throughout this training.